Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let us understand a up-down counter design using Verilog code and let us see how actually the code can be written which behave as up counter as well as down counter. Here is the block diagram indicating up-down counter which has a clock input. This clock will be given to the all the flip-flops present in the up-down counter. It means a synchronous counter we can say. And also we have a reset signal. This reset is active high reset. When reset is equal to 1, count will be 0. When reset is 0, count will start it to count from 0 to maximum 15. Since it is a 4-bit counter I am designing, I need to declare this count as 3 down to 0. And we have one more control signal that is up or down. When up or down is equal to 1, it will operate as up counter. And when up or down is equal to 0, this counter will operate as down counter. So let us see the Verilog code now. You can see module up or down counter. It has input clock, input reset and one more signal up or down and we have count. And here input clock reset and up down declared as input ports and count is a output port. And since it is a behavioral description, we need to represent the output as register. You can also see here 3 is to 0 that means it is a 4 bit count. It is a 4 bit counter and count will be initialized to 0. Always at positive edge of the clock or positive edge of the reset. It means it is a asynchronous reset. Asynchronous reset means clock and reset are not in sync. They are asynchronous to each other. Whenever the reset happens, when reset is equal to 1, the counter will reset to 0. It will not wait for the positive edge of the clock to happen. And then comes, if reset is equal to 1, count will be 0. Else, we need to look for what is up or down signal. If up or down signal is equal to 1, we need to make the count is equal to count plus 1. But here, before that, we need to check a condition that whether counter value is 15. If it is 15, we need to bring back that to 0. If it is not 15, then we can allow the counter to count. So this is the logic for increment counter. When up down is equal to 1, it will increment the count. Else, else means when up down is equal to 0. When up down is equal to 0, this else part will work. Else, if count is equal to is equal to 0, we are checking. If it is 0, we need to assign to 15. Why? Because from the maximum value, we need to count down. Else, if it is not 0, it is there in, in between. So count is equal to count minus 1. It will decrement the values. By using up down is equal to 1 and up down is equal to 0 from else part, we are operating this counter to work as up counter as well as down counter. Here I have written the module test bench also. You can see the test bench of the counter here and we have declared all the inputs as registers and outputs as wire and I have instantiated my module and starting with the clock generation clock is equal to 0 and my clock will be always toggling for every 5 nanoseconds. You can see the clock over here in the waveform also and the logic is that first I am reset uh, keeping to 0 and I am making the counter to up or down is equal to 1. It means here it will be act as up counter. It will up count. So you can see initially 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It is counting and this value will be up to 100 time minutes. You can see here there is a delay. After 100 time minutes what I am doing up or down I am making it as 0. Then here you can see up or down will be going 0 and from here onwards now the value of count is A. A means 10. It will count down from 10 to 9, then 8, then 7, then 6, 5, up to 0 it will count. You can see here. After 100 time minutes I am making reset is equal to 1 to check whether my counter will reset correctly. So when reset becomes 1 here you can see the counter output will be 0. It means when reset is equal to 1 counter will reset. When the reset is equal to 0 counter will count depending on the up or down value. This is up and down counter using Verilog. Thank you.